hello everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I really appreciate, like, I really appreciate it. Um, I really wouldn't be here without all of your guys' support from all different walks of life. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, hello everybody. My name is Dee Mejia and welcome to Death of a Perfectionist. Now, where do I even start? So I guess I could start with my time here at Stan State with Susan, James, and Marty, and all the other wonderful professors. Um, you guys have all been really, like, really great. It's been a really fruitful experience here at Stan State. And, you know, I just, I feel like I've grown a lot and I've developed a lot as a person, as an artist. Um, I've grown to understand who I am and I've learned a lot about myself. And I think that, you know, that is extremely reflective in my work. Um, I think before I had this extreme misconception that art needed to be a certain way. I feel like art, like a successful artist was one that rendered art, like, or that rendered painting, I guess, realistically, and everything was supposed to be perfect and tight. And I feel like you could definitely see that in a lot of my work at the beginning of, the, of my career. And I wanted to commemorate that in, sorry, on my rustling. <laughs> I wanted to commemorate that in this piece. Um, oh, hello. Um, this piece is, I guess, most gravitated towards like my style at the beginning of my artistic career. It was extremely realistic and just overall focused on like proportions and getting the figure right and getting an understanding color and understanding volume. And I felt like my artwork was almost stale because it had no personality. I feel like my artwork really only was good work because of the standards that you know were expected to receive a good grade. And so from then on, I wanted to progress into expression and that's greatly what you see here. Um, I use a lot of vivid colors, as you can see. They're all like scribbled out and everything. And I wanted to explore the vast array of emotions that are interconnected in our human experience. And now these emotions can range anywhere from more happy or positive ones to the negative, really ugly sides like anxiety, which is what I have right now, <laughs> and paranoia and even depression. And as somebody who has struggled with mental health issues from a very young age, I really wanted to portray my journey, um, understanding my mind and understanding you know, my life and I guess accepting that life is ugly and not every part of, you know, if, not every day is gonna be a good day. And so I really wanted to commemorate that in the work that I'm doing right now and just express, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, but yeah, so a lot of these, like, negative connotations are deeply rooted in, I guess, like I said, my own personal experiences. Um, I suffer from really bad anxiety. I have since I was, like, nine. I'm not going to bore you with <laughs> sad tales about my childhood and whatnot, but I just wanted to show that these emotions are real and they're valid and I wanted to use my platform in a way that would validate others and also encourage others to tell their story and you know to acknowledge that you know not everything goes as planned and to accept um, I guess like the accidents like Bob Ross <laughs> the happy accidents <laughs> but yeah you know I just really wanted to explore expressionism and evoking my state of mind through color, through line, um, and other visual motifs. But, yeah. Um, like I said, I really would not be here without all of your support. Um, and I feel like I really wouldn't be here without art. You know, I think art is therapeutic. And I think it can definitely tell a lot about the person's experiences throughout life and definitely share, um, you know, like emotions and all of that, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say.